goes for an hour. So I'm actually going to have to drop out halfway through it due to other commitments. Um, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, E3. E3, E6. Knight F3. I'm going to see if I can get this knight e5, bishop... Actually, why didn't I move the bishop and queen and all that? Eh. I am not playing how I normally play. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing for this variant. Alright, so we're threatening... Actually, this wins on the spot. Never mind. Normally I play queen f3 and bishop d3 and use that to win, but this works too. Well, yeah, it's unfortunate to be my opponent there. Atomic's a tricky game, because there's all kinds of tricks and traps like that. And I just don't know the main lines, so that's why I'm playing these sidelines. Um, so, alright, we're in sixth place. And I'm sure I'll get a pairing any minute now. Alright, if knight f3 I play f6, if e3 I play knight f6. I guess basically against anything I do knight f... I'm sorry, I put something on f6. Oh, we got paired. Yeah. Well, this is 5-0. There's definitely time to think. So don't be afraid to use it. Even if I don't use it, um, the fact that I'm moving quickly um, probably means I'm just moving way too fast. Like, I don't know if d5 or e6 are better there. I'm assuming d5, but I don't know. Um, Certainly at this point, much is up in the air. No, oh, okay. Hang on. I didn't, I, yeah, I was a little impulsive there. But it actually didn't hurt me. Um, to post in the forums, you have to have an account on this server. And also, you have to be in good standing, i.e. you can't um, be somebody who is disruptive, or previously was disruptive on the forums. Yeah, because those people are prevented from doing additional posting. All right, well, 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 tournament leader is taking a break. I see they've won three games in the row, and they said, you know, maybe three games is enough. Um. Here we go. So I'm going to see if I can do this. This is the dream. Alright, we're going to see... Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. Um, here's the second way to hit the square. I just have to make sure not to lose my king. And I'm still threatening all this stuff. So this is threat number one, this is threat number two, threat number two it is.
Yeah, if you're adding a new topic to the forums, make sure you're in the right category. Um, I think there's several forums out there, uh, or several categories, and um, quite often people post things in the wrong forum, in the wrong category, and it's just distracting to other people who want to use that. Um, and then there's people who will, uh, no matter how many times we remind them to use the report form for reporting cheating activity, they'll post it in the forum anyway. And there's this big warning message that says if you're creating a new topic, don't make it about one person cheating because public accusations of cheating are against the terms of service, because it's disruptive to the forums, and because we have a report form which is monitored. And people will still post things in the forums saying, oh, this person's the worst cheater ever. And it's like, really? You're not helping. Yeah, I'm thinking that either you don't have, um, either you don't have a LeechS account, or your LeechS account has been blocked from creating new topics on the forum because you've been disruptive. I don't know. Yeah, we got paired again. Um, Alright, so point number one is I'm not going to let this night ruin my day. Uh, point number two is I don't have a point number two. Well, I guess I'm going to stop the knight from jumping in over there, too. Um, but yeah, my atomic opening knowledge has kind of ended already. Um, and I know I'm rated 2,000-something, but that just means I'm good at finding tactics. Uh, I don't actually know what to do. Uh, if I push this, my position gets weakened quite a bit. If I push e6, maybe that's okay. I just want as many pieces guarding these squares as possible. Um, and yeah, this is kind of a tense position, that's for sure. Oh, maybe there... I don't know. Um, I'm not an admin on the forums, so I don't know every policy about how the site works. Maybe new accounts can't post immediately. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, once I did read something many months ago that you actually have to play some games before you can post on the forums. They don't let people who just create accounts immediately post on the forums because that's been in the past people have abused that they would just like make a new account and post something and the uh, admins would ban that account and then they'd make a new account and post it again and like unfortunately because of that behavior we've had to make policies about um, who is and who isn't allowed to post on the forums. Oh, oh. Uh, this is getting out of control. Um, well, okay, I lucked out. I lucked out. If, if we had knight to b5 followed by the other knight to b5, I don't know what I would have done. Um, but okay, we're going to put the knight here and try to move it in. Um, also try not to get mated, and if the F file opens up, try to use the F file. Um, but yeah, if either pawn moves forward, I can jump into the points vacated, or now made available by the pawn move. Um, Alright, here we go. Threatening nothing whatsoever. Oh, he saw it. Alright. Um, yeah, I need to just develop my pieces.
And now if the pawns move, I go behind enemy lines here. So I wasn't able to go to d4, but this'll do. Oh, there goes my knight. Okay, let's put the rook on a half-open file, just because that's where rooks best operate. The f file, you see there's a place where it says f underneath this column? A file is just a column on the board. Um, See, so yeah, that's what f file refers to here. Like in military terms, this is a rank uh, going across the board. A row is a rank, and a column is a file. Um, oh, it's my turn. Yeah, he just pushed this. Uh, so let's push that. All right, and just in case this opens up, uh, let's make sure our rook is lined up to make use of it. I'm guessing he's not going to take this pawn, in which case I might just push it forward. Alright, so I threatened to check it. I'm not actually going to take the rook, because it takes a turn to capture a piece. Again, I'm not going to take the rook, because it takes a turn to do that. Um, he offers a draw that's nice of him, but I think I can win this. What's material at? I've got a knight and a bishop for the pawn. Alright, so I've got to take these pawns. Or blockade them anyhow. And now we go and promote. And the question on everybody's mind is do I know how to win this end game? And I'm not sure that I do. Um, so we'll see just what this involves. Let's see. Can I make any threats this way? There's a check. And here we go. Easy peasy. In hindsight, I probably should have locked that pawn down a lot earlier. Now that that's an atomic chess endgame. Those are tricky to win. Yeah, no, that's a pretty standard technique. Um, I have to force your king adjacent to your pawn. And in most positions, I have the ability to do that. Since you still have some pawns on the board. Now, in that case, the fact that the bishop was able to take instead of the queen did help out quite a bit. Um, and that's something a little bit non-standard, but, mm, I mean, I found a way to make do. And really, the only way you could have stopped that was moving your king away from the corner, away from my king. In which case, my queen just goes ahead and checkmates you. Um, but yeah, if there were no mate over there, I would have picked like the other edge of the board and found some way to get your king adjacent to your pawn. 
Yeah. <laughs> Atomic is pretty crazy. Atomic chess endgames are the best. Alright. Here we go. Going for cheapos. Well, if only because I don't know the main lines, so I have to play the sidelines. Alright, we're going to take the rook. Okay. Um, let's see. Threaten queen h5 check. I think the only way to stop queen h5 is to play h5 itself. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And that's what happens when players move too quickly, is they blunder. And for sure, I wasn't the only player blundering that game. Um, yeah, a capture will um, cause an explosion to occur at the destination square of the piece that just got moved. And that explosion will take out everything in a one square radius. All right, got a guy with a rating of 1337. That's pretty late. Um, all right, it's against e3. My standard reply has been knight f6. Against that, I've been playing d5. Against that, I've been playing c6. And yeah. Well, all's well that ends well. Um, I'm not sure what White's going to do here. It's certainly a difficult position. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, actually an explosion removes pieces, but not pawns that are in that radius. Also, the piece that moved gets removed from the board. Okay. Yeah, this is what I didn't think about the other game, is this bishop b4. I think this bishop is probably worth the bishop and pawn, but I don't know. Um, so, I'm way out of my element with regard to where we are right now. So tactics are showing up here, there, and everywhere. Um, but my opponent has time to sort through them and um, do something reasonable and reply instead of just guessing. Um, but he guesses. And so we have this. So next up, uh, I'm going to win the rook. Yep. So that's a rook. And now I just have to make sure not to get mated out of the opening. Which is not as easy as it sounds. Um, yeah, queen a6, d3, I'm still okay. I don't know what to do about this move. I think if I just grab some more space, I'll be fine, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, this queen is not gonna explode me, so let's let's make an aggressive move. 
Now I'm threatening this, as well as this check, followed by taking MB7. Um, Alright, so this is check. And now we take out all of Black's pieces, and we're up two rooks and a bishop. So, yep, I got that one. That's cool. Yeah, no, I'm sure, um, yeah, two out of four is pretty good. Um, it is unfortunate we got paired twice, and that just means that there aren't enough people in the event. Um, but I see that, wait, did I just play the guy um, who was previously leading the tournament? I find that hard to believe, but was that the guy I just played? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so knight f6 looks good on the surface, but uh, this is actually kind of challenging for black. Because now I can build up this knight h3 g5 idea. It's just tricky to stop. If it is stoppable. Also possible is bishop d3, g6. Alright, so he's threatening to attack and win my queen. I'm threatening to attack and win his king. Um... So hopefully my threat prevails. As mentioned earlier, I will have to cut out of the tournament a little bit early, um, unfortunately, because uh, it's still a work day and work needs to be done. But this has been a fun session, for sure. Uh, and I'm appreciating that I'm not as bad at Atomic as I thought I was. Like, a couple months, or maybe one month after Atomic was added to the server, there were numerous strong players who showed up and just completely wiped the floor with me. And now I appear to be holding my own somehow. Um, so, granted I'm not playing against the same exact players I was playing back then, but I think this means that, uh, just in general, it, it does make sense for me to play Atomic on the server, because I can win some games. Um, also, now I see the much simpler idea. Just take the pawn. Okay, so... Yeah. Actually, this mates no matter what he plays, so we'll, we'll pre-move that. If he moves the d-pawn, it's still checkmate. If he moves the knight, it's an explosion and it mates. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, I think we got time for one more. I think we've got time for one more. Dexter Reborn. Good luck, sir. He's in third. If I beat him, then I've beaten pretty much everybody on the top half of the tournament. Um, so, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I think against Knight C3, C6 is book. Don't know why. Don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Um, I'm threatening this. So I think knight f5 is the standard move, and then I take here, and then knight e4 is popular. Or yeah, e3 too. Um, and I just don't know what I'm doing. Uh, da, da, da. We're going to assume d5 is playable. Maybe it has to be d6 instead, I don't know. But this is the sort of thing where I'm saying theory is just more than I know at this point. I know my bishop has to guard h6, so I can't, like, play e5 and move the bishop away. Um. Oh, ho! Oh, I got lucky. This is a fun little tactic, this thing. Yeah. Um. 
Just FYI, guys. Don't put the queen on F3 when this is possible. This is like a triple jump in checkers. I got so fortunate there. Um, yep, and he threatens mate and moon, wanton, threatens mate and one. But I managed to win somehow, anyhow. So yeah, thanks to everybody for watching. It's been interesting. Apparently I'm still good at Atomic, although I don't know all the main lines, so I still have some things to learn. Um,